attorney Jonathan Elson, reminding you that if you've been injured in an auto accident, it's important to have somebody on your side. When you need a lawyer, when you need Nelson. You need New information has been released regarding the fatal accident, which occurred on Saturday morning, approximately 4 a.m. on Honeysuckle and Dandelion Streets. Killed was 33-year-old Christine Weir and her fiancé, Brian Schwaniers, who is also 33, was taken to UMC Trauma Center with incapacitating injuries as a result of this accident. Arrested was 22-year-old Ashley Ann Wynn of Pahrump for driving under the influence involving death, driving under the influence resulting in a serious bodily injury, and failure to stop at a stop sign. According to Nevada Highway Patrol, the accident was reported at 3.57 in the morning. When deputies arrived, they observed a Ford pickup truck and a Chevy passenger car with extreme damage. Fire personnel identified that the right passenger of the Chevrolet, Christine Weir, who worked at Walmart, succumbed to her injuries sustained in the crash. The driver of the Chevrolet, Brian Schwaniers, who worked at the Postal Service here in Pahrump, suffered incapacitating injuries and was transported to UMC Trauma Center via Mercy Air. The driver of the Ford Ashley Wynn was transported to Desert View Hospital with non-incapacitating injuries. Due to the severity of the crash, Nye County Sheriff's Office deputies requested that Nevada Highway Patrol Multidisciplinary Investigation and Reconstruction Team respond. The official accident investigation has determined that the Ford driven by Ashley Wind was westbound on Honeysuckle Street, approaching the intersection of South Dandelion. The Chevrolet was northbound on South Dandelion Street, approaching the same intersection. The vehicle driven by Wind failed to yield the right of way at a posted stop sign and both the vehicles entered the intersection around the same time. While on scene, deputies said that wind displayed outward signs of impairment. The impaired driving investigation was conducted at Desert View Hospital. Miss Wynn, according to police, admitted to drinking whiskey up until approximately one hour before the crash. Deputies obtained a search warrant, which authorized a withdrawal of blood samples relating to driving under the influence investigation. Schwaniers and Weir had been dating approximately 16 years and were to be married on October 16th. They had just purchased a new home and met at school in Massachusetts. The family stopped by KPVM. TV this morning to tell us about a GoFundMe account for Weir's memorial service. You can go to GoFundMe, loss of a wonderful person, or GoFundMe.com forward slash 2R94A8MC. They also hope in the near future have orange ribbons throughout the town, which was Christine's favorite color. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46.